Hello, today we're going to showcase the new Amazon Redshift console integration for Stitch. This demonstration is going to showcase the connectivity between Talon and Amazon Redshift using Stitch. So this will show you navigating through the Amazon Redshift console to get to the marketplace and to launch Stitch from the Amazon Redshift console. And then we'll conclude by connecting Stitch to an Amazon Redshift warehouse to load your data. Let's begin. I am now in my AWS management console and I'm going to launch Redshift. So you can see here that I have my recently visited uh, services or I can find Redshift through my guide. So I'm gonna click on Redshift and that's going to bring me into the Amazon Redshift console. Now, if I want to look for integrations and other various uh, applications, I can come either in through the dashboard and see what's happening with my cluster and I can come down into the marketplace. The marketplace is where we have the list of the various integrations inside the Amazon Redshift console. And as you can see here, underneath data integration, we have our Stitch product listed. So we're gonna go ahead and click view product, and that's going to bring us into the marketplace where we can see how we can proceed. So we can continue if we had an existing subscription, but we want to try for free. So I come up here and I click try for free, and that is going to bring me into the configuration of this contract. So what I want to do is I wanna select this 14 day unlimited trial and I want to be able to proceed uh, from there and that will begin to set up my account. So from there, I'm going to be able to uh, see the details of this new contract that I'm signing. Really, it's just a 14 day trial and I'm gonna go ahead and accept contract. We have accepted the contract and now the Amazon Redshift console is giving us feedback to complete the registration and set up our account. We are now provisioning or setting up our new user account. So I have filled in all of the information on the screen. And what's important to note here is that we do wanna select which region that we're going to be hosted in, either North America or Europe. So you provide your credentials, you provide a password, and then you save account details and that will set up your account. That is step one. After that, we're going to add an integration and then select a destination. Now we are going to be setting up our integrations and our destinations, or our sources and our target. With Stitch, there are over 150 different sources or integrations supported, and that's everything from CRM and ERP data to, say, Amazon S3 as your source. So all we need to do is select our integration to start, and then we can proceed. So now I'm going to configure my Amazon S3 integration. So I'm going to pull some data out of an existing Amazon S3 bucket. So I'm going to give this an integration name. I'm going to provide which S3 bucket I'm pulling in, which Amazon uh, AWS account ID I'm using. And then I'm going to configure the table where I'm going to eventually write this. Remember, this is going to write to Amazon Redshift. So I'm searching for a particular pattern, this particular CSV file. I'm gonna name this table. I'm going to provide any other additional information such as delimiters. And then once I scroll to the bottom, I can also do set up the uh, replication frequency, which is by default every hour, search for historical data if I need to do some uh, integration there and then authorize my account. Once I am done there, I can then set up my destination. In other words, where do I want this data to land? And of course, I want this data to land in Amazon Redshift. So I select Redshift, and then I complete the information here regarding my connection to my Amazon Redshift. So here I have completed my credentials. I've given it a display name. I've entered in my host, my port, my username and password. Uh, must be an existing database. So I have to have a database structure set up where I'm going to write this information. And then just making sure that Stitch has, the Stitch uh, integration has access to the warehouse by clearing uh, and setting up access via these ports. Once that is done, then I'm going to be able to check and save and that will be ready to go. So with the integration or source set, and now the destination set as our Amazon Redshift integration, we now have our completed integration. Remember, we called it our S3 comma test. It's active, it ran four minutes ago, and we were able to show that we ran 10,000 rows out of our sample. That concludes our demo. So to wrap up, please go to your AWS management console, go to Amazon Redshift, click on Marketplace, and find Stitch and try Stitch today. Thank you.